Hey, how you doing? This is Zephaniah from The Fix. And you know I'm a woman of faith and I often start the day about four or five in the morning talking to God. And one of the things that I went through with him this morning in, in the scripture was Genesis. And I went as far as Genesis 3. And it was the part where Cain and Abel you know, produced uh, an offering for God and Cain was upset that his wasn't accepted favorably while his brother's was. So let's put that to the side for a second. One of the things that's beautiful if you're actually reading the word is that you see that God continued to be relational with Adam and Eve. He spoke with them still. They still had a relationship with him. And when Cain was upset about the rejection of his offering, God spoke to him. And he said to him first, first he gave him counsel. He spoke to him first and said, well, you know, if you do the right thing, you're going to get right results. So do the right thing. However, if you don't, check yourself, correct yourself, get out of this foolishness that you're telling yourself and being angry over something that really you already knew what the problem was, then the enemy will be crouching at the door waiting for you. So you let this anger thing keep rolling around and keep telling yourself foolishness, there's going to be a problem. Because then when the enemy gets hold of that, whew, so here's what they understood. Adam and Eve sinned. God killed an animal, used the skin to make them clothing. Blood shed is what was called for to be redeemed before Jesus. That being said, if Cain, if you all know that the proper sacrifice is to offer up blood and you choose not to do that, um, you're going to be mad. So that's where Cain's problem was. He knew what the established protocol was for approaching God. And he decided he was going to do what he wanted to do. Well, that's what he wanted to do. Well, that's nice. But that's not what God asked for. And that's not what he had established as a pattern. So when you're just going to do whatever you want, then you're going to be mad. God gave him counsel first, and then he warned him. So now let's put that down for a second, and let's talk about today in the world of Zephaniah's flesh suit. So when I interact with people and I want to continue the conversation or see where we're going, I will give them my card that has my cell number on it. So I'm getting dressed to go out today, minding my business, and... I go to turn up the music because you know I'm jamming, doing my thing. And I see there's a message. Check the message. It's very cryptic. It says something like, uh, I don't even know. It was cryptic. And I don't want to mess it up and say the wrong thing, but it was cryptic. So one, there was no ID, just a phone number. And two, cryptic message. Now, I was minding my business jam or whatever. So here's the thing. If you face to face with me, clearly you know I'm just not the one to be being foolish with. Don't be foolish with me. So I just type in question mark three times. Question mark, question mark, question mark. That should tell other person, one, she doesn't recognize who I am, or two, what I said makes no sense and she doesn't understand. That's what the rational thought would be. You see how I got to get my life together right now? I'm just like, no, calm yourself. Because even in my mind, I'm like, what? Anyway. Now, I'm about to go on about my business because I'm not going to stand here and text and whatever. Phone rings. Now, you know, I generally do not answer a telephone if I do not know the caller in advance because I don't want someone else's whatever to interrupt the flow of what I'm doing. 
I'm not willing to put whatever I'm doing at risk for whatever's going to show up on the other end of the call. It could be good. It could be bad. Whatever. Good luck. But, um, now I said, you know what? This person probably just like figured out, you know what? Let's not waste time. Let's just get at it. And I was like, you know what? That's a bold move. Let's go. Pick up the phone. Literally, literally person is just started talking. I said, well, well, stop. I do not know who you are, and I do not even know what you just said. Oh, yeah, well, I was about to say that. And I said, and this is how this goes. Hi, my name is blank. I met you at blank. And then I hung up the phone. See, you can't just come to people any type of way. You just can't roll up on somebody any type of way. Not acceptable, not going to happen, not going to do it. 